Hey MLB Fan Cave, Steve Sivright here, and I have come up with the perfect solution to getting through the long winter, something all baseball fans hate. I hibernate. No, I'm not dead. I'm narrating this after all. But I did find the only logical solution to the problem. Come check and see where the magic happens. This is my sleep sanctuary, where I go during the off-season to pass those long days. There's the famous quote, People ask me what I do in winter when there's no baseball. I'll tell you what I do. I stare out the window and wait for spring. You sit there and wait for spring? That's like way over a hundred days. That's nowhere near proactive enough for me. So after the final game of the World Series, and until pitchers and catchers report, I go to sleep. And when I wake up, pitchers and catchers are reporting, spring training's here. No sad tweets or countdown Instagrams, it's here. Obviously the fan cave is an extreme situation and you need somebody to go through this kind of extreme. Oh, actually, hold on, here's my favorite part. I'm about to wake up. What year is it? I've been wanting to say that for four months. Now I start the long journey home and to baseball. You guys celebrate your holidays and suffer through your polar vortexes. Well, this is what I do. Why do I do it? Because without baseball, I'm lost. No, I'm literally lost. I've never been here before. Now, I miss out on most of winter, but I do find some time to enjoy it. <coughs> Eventually, I do get back home, and then I shove my head full of four months of internet and hot stove. Robinson Cano to the Mariners, Prince Fielder to the Rangers, Selfie Olympics. That looks way too hard. Celebrity couple got married. Granderson to the Mets. Celebrity couple gets divorced. Three members into the Hall of Fame. Looks like I'm all caught up here. Now it's just time to upload this video to the internet.